Gulliver's Travels is a satirical novel by Jonathan Swift that follows the adventures of Lemuel. Gulliver, an English sailor. The story is divided into four parts, each detailing Gulliver's encounters with different societies in fantastical lands. 1. Lilliput and Brobdignag, Gulliver is shipwrecked and discovers two opposite societies. One where he is a giant among tiny people Lilliput, and another where he is a dwarf among giants Brobdignag. Swift uses these encounters to critique the petty conflicts and absurdities of human nature. To Shlapuda and Balnabarbi, Gulliver visits a flying island Laputa, inhabited by intellectuals who are detached from reality, and a mainland Balnabarbi where science and learning are misapplied. This part satirizes the scientific and political developments of Swift's time. 3. Glubdubrib and the Strald Brugs Gulliver meets ghosts of famous ancient figures and immortal beings who live in misery. This part critiques the importance placed on ancient wisdom and the pitfalls of immortality. 4. The Hynums and the Yahoos Gulliver arrives on an island. Inhabited by rational, horse-like creatures the Hynums and depraved, human-like creatures the Yahoos. This part is a scathing critique of human behavior with the Hynums representing rationalism and the Yahoos symbolizing the worst aspects of humanity. Throughout the novel, Swift uses humor, satire, and allegory to expose the flaws and absurdities of human nature, political systems, and societal values. Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift is a classic satirical novel that follows the adventures of Lemuel Gulliver, an English sailor as he encounters various fantastical lands and their inhabitants. The story is divided into four parts, with each part presenting a different society that serves as an allegory for the shortcomings of human nature, politics, and society. 1. Lilliput and Brobdignag In the first part of the novel, Gulliver is shipwrecked and washed ashore on the island of Lilliput. He is discovered to be a giant among the tiny inhabitants who stand barely an inch tall. Gulliver becomes a celebrity and a prisoner, caught in the middle of the political struggles between Lilliput and its neighboring enemy, Blefuscu. He eventually escapes and is shipwrecked again, this time on the island of Brobdignag, where he is a dwarf among giants. Gulliver is both awed and horrified by the giant's simplicity and ignorance, particularly that of the king and queen. Swift uses these encounters to critique human petty conflicts, political machinations, and the absurdity of prioritizing trivial matters. To Shlapuda and Balnabarbi, in the second part, Gulliver visits the flying island of Laputa. Inhabited by intellectuals who are so absorbed in their own ideas that they are disconnected from reality. The inhabitants of Balnabarbi on the mainland below are obsessed with learning and science, but their applications are misguided and impractical.